I made a new material that has three distinctly different textures in it so that it would it'd be easy to see exactly how they're being laid out on this uh, default sphere here. And for, for now anyways, we're going to be using the emissive input so that we don't have to worry about lighting information. Now, the best way to see how these things are going to be mapped out is take a vertex normal in world space, drag that in, the absolute power of absolute value of that, so we don't have to worry about any negative values. I got a power node and we're going to make a scalar constant. Let's convert that to a parameter. And we'll name that input blend strength. break those components apart we can map this texture based only on the x value of world space let's do this with the red channel that's the emissive so far no difference Blend parameter to 10. Let's see, it only maps on the, uh, the x coordinate of this part. Okay, so to map the three of these, we're going to need a world position coordinate node. to divide this by another scalar, convert that to a parameter, we're going to name it uh, Texture Scale. Now I've been using a scale of 50 for this. Now we're going to need to mask these out. mask, control W to recopy, and this is um, R and B channels, control W to copy that, and this is the green and blue channels, and map these to the UV input. We're going to need a multiply node hooked up to each one of these. And this one actually goes down to blue. This one gets the red. This one gets the green channel. Add these all together. And you can use the uh, the number pad plus sign to bring up these nodes for a shortcut. Take that to the emissive. And there we go. We have a triplanar texture. But you'll notice that it is kind of gray around the edges here. It's not quite blending perfectly. And it shouldn't be black like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this 
by the sum total of the broken out components. So we have add node. Break this apart again. Start this phase. Put this up here. There we go. Nice and crisp. between the uh, textures. Very sharp there and smooth there. So in the next video I'll show you how to make a, um, a material, com uh, material function out of this and then I'll also show you how to blend the normal maps together.